Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Linux Mint. Just like all others, first you're going to have to have either a USB install drive or a DVD or CD live disk of Mint burnt and in your drive in order to be able to boot the operating system and begin the install process. First you must select the ability to boot from that drive in your BIOS in order to be able to start the install process. So first, this is a complete clean install of Linux Mint. This means there is nothing else on the hard drive. This is going to be configuring the entire system for Mint only. Here we go. As you can see, it's booting the process and starting the automatic boot to get ready to perform the install. Now, one thing with Linux Mint is I do believe rather than coming up giving you the direct option to install, I believe it actually boots the operating system entirely as a live OS. You have to go in and do the install. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is Linux Mint. And as you can see, this is the GNOME desktop environment. There's your menu and everything. It will automatically come with LibreOffice and several other things already installed. This is what it's going to look like when it first comes up. To install it, right here's the icon, Install Linux Mint. Double click there. Bear in mind, if you honestly want to and you have a large enough of a USB drive, you can put Linux Mint on a USB drive and run it entirely as a live drive, not perform the install. You can install and update software and never actually have to install it on the hard drive if you don't want to. If you do want to, this is the best way to do it. We're going to select English, click continue. You're going to see right here, just like Ubuntu, it's going to come up telling you it has at least 6 gig free and is connected to the internet. So click continue. And we're going to do something else. Continue. You're going to see right here that it has no partition table. It won't give me the option to create or anything else. If your driver already has a partition table, you're going to want to click on the partition and click the minus to delete it. So that way it's all just unformatted. If it's done like this, you're going to have to hit new partition table, continue, and you'll see the free space. Now we're going to create a forward slash mount point and give it 40... 43, 153 will work. No, 43, 453. That'll give me the 4 gig for uh, the swap file. Or the swap partition for this install. Make sure your mount point is forward slash. Do not add any other mount points. Despite what you hear any BS you've read on the internet make your mount point just forward slash all the rest of it will automatically allocate dynamically if you actually go in and physically set it and it turns out you needed more space your SOL it ain't gonna work right so do it this way it works best this way trust me click OK there's our new partition with the mount point forward slash there's our 4 gig. Should be 4096 for 4 gig. A couple megabytes over ain't going to hurt. 4100 megabytes is a little bit over 4 gig, but it's still going to be a 4 gig swap file partition. This thing has 4 gig of RAM dedicated to it. So it's not going to be used for sleep mode or anything else. I'm not going to go one and a half times. I'm just going to go the same size, which is absolutely sufficient. The only time you want to go one and a half times the size, which would make it six gig, is uh, if you're going to use like sleep or hibernate mode. Hibernate mode, I'd just about recommend double, which would make it an eight gig swap. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use sleep, so I don't need one and a half. So my swap file is going to be same size as the amount of RAM in the system. So click on the free space there. Click add right here. Use as swap area. Click OK. Oh, I know what happened. Add. We'll make this 4099. 
it's wanting to expand out beyond what's actually there on the drive there we go and now we have our swap file we have our main install main partition for the install and all the software make sure you select that forward slash mount point partition click install now now you're gonna set the time zone the time zone is central time Chicago works I can't set it on the exact town or city where I'm at so Chicago works just fine as long as it's central and then of course it's gonna to default to the US keyboard layout and everything just like Ubuntu this is built off of Ubuntu which is all built off of uh, Debian or Debian however you want to say it it's gotten a whole lot better by automatically picking the right keyboard driver and the right keyboard layout so just click continue the safest bet is to just click continue and then of course this is the uh, computer I use for the videos and stuff this is the lab system so we're just gonna use that and my standard one two three four five for it just like the other one uh, I would leave it require my password to log in I'm gonna set it to log in automatically because I'm not worried about putting in the password every time again this is a lab system for your personal use I would highly recommend require my password to log in you can even select it to encrypt your home folder if you want which adds more security and encrypts your personal files okay and as soon as the install finishes it'll come up saying restart now so just click that and whenever it boots up you'll have this display screen right here it gives you the option to boot from Linux Mint or you can boot into the memory test just click on the Linux Mint and voila here is Linux Mint fully booting up you have the full-blown GNOME desktop environment go to internet there's your web browser which is Firefox come standard with all of them there's the Thunderbird mail application which is an all-in-one email client there's your pigeon internet messenger which is an all-in-one IM client except Skype I will show you how to download and install software on this later and it also comes with LibreOffice. And as of this point, you officially have performed a complete clean install of Linux Mint 15. There are several different flavors. You have Mate. This is Cinnamon. Cinnamon works very well. I highly recommend it. Mate works okay. And they also have the KDE spin of Linux Mint. If you prefer KDE, uh, I prefer the GNOME desktop environment. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. And as always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day.